inventor, artist, dreamer, arguably the greatest genius of all time. Throughout his entire life, Leonardo displayed his ingenuity over an astonishing range of subjects, from beautiful works of art and terrifying weapons of war, to the invention of masterful flying machines 400 years before man took to the skies. Leonardo was the illegitimate child of a prominent notary and a peasant woman, a burden that would bar him from any formal education. In spite of his challenging childhood, Leonardo forged his own path by teaching himself to read and write. It is because of this that he wrote left-handed, and even more curiously, backwards. One of Leonardo's first positions was as apprentice to the famous Florentine artist Andrea Verrocchio, who was commissioned to paint a picture of Christ being baptized. Typical of the time, he painted the main figures and left the more insignificant characters to his assistants. Leonardo was tasked with painting one of the angels in the scene. Instead of mimicking the techniques of Verrocchio, he boldly chose to paint with oils instead. The effect was profound. It is said that when Verrocchio saw the angel, he decided that he, having been surpassed, would never paint again. As court artist for the feared Duke of Milan, Ludovico Sforza, Leonardo was commissioned to paint the Last Supper in the monastery of Santa Maria del Grazie. Always aiming to innovate, he chose a radical technique of painting on dry plaster to depict the reaction of the disciples at the moment when Christ says, one of you will betray me. It took three years to create this future masterpiece, though Leonardo fought to earn a living wage during this time. His delicate painting technique almost led to the early devastation of the fresco. But after many attempts to restore the work, some doing more harm than good, the power of the original still remains. Later in life, Leonardo was reportedly growing weary of the brush, and yet at the same time, he began the work that would become one of the most famous paintings in the world, the Mona Lisa. Over the next decade, he continuously worked on the painting, enhancing and perfecting her enigmatic expression, which seems both alluring and aloof. Even after completing what would become some of the most famous art in the world, Leonardo scarcely made a penny. He reluctantly took commissions focused on unimaginable war machines, despite his loathing of violence and brutality. Throughout his later years, Leonardo continuously followed his quest for more knowledge and of fulfilling his greatest and most exciting aspiration, taking man to the skies. Leonardo tirelessly persisted with his systematic study on the flight of birds, resulting in the Codex on Flight. It is astonishing to note that even after all his achievements, Leonardo was still known to ask, Tell me, have I done anything of worth? Tell me if anything was ever done. The versatility and creative power of Leonardo mark him as a supreme genius while the richness and originality of intellect expressed in his notebooks reveal one of the greatest minds of all time. Imagine now, as we invite you to the world of Da Vinci.